What can I do about bare spots in my lawn? Is it still okay to use Garden Trust when I've recently applied manure to my garden? And when should I use Plant Trust on my Japanese maples? Folks, I've got answers to these questions and more coming up on Garden Sense. Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome back to Garden Sense. Well, folks, unfortunately, this is going to be our final video podcast for the 2024 season. But don't worry, we're not going anywhere. It's just this time of year, the emails really start to slow down. The number of orders that we process really starts to slow down. And obviously, that's because of the weather. And it's a great time for us to stop because we are slowly entering into the holiday season. And it gives us a time to really take a step back evaluate the business as a whole, and then obviously start planning for when we come back in that mid to late February timeframe. So obviously, if you still have questions, please send them directly to me, Tim at RosensOnline.com. But again, in terms of our weekly video podcasts, we are going to stop. This is going to be the last one for the 2024 season, but we are going to pick them back up sometime in February of next year. So folks, that being said, I selected four questions that we want to address here today on our final video podcast. So buckle up, everybody. Let's jump right in. The first question for today is from John. Hi, Tim. I prepped my lawn according to the special overseeding video. I have to say most of the Berenbrug seed put down germinated and is growing healthy. But there are bare spots and I can see the seed that did not germinate. What do you recommend? Well, first of all, I'm glad to hear that the Berenbrug seed, most of it has taken and that your lawn is coming in nicely. That's always really good to hear. Unfortunately, there is always some seed that isn't going to germinate and you know, bare spots do happen. So that's not a huge surprise. Now, given the time of year, you, you really have two options. You didn't identify exactly where you're from, so I don't know what type of weather you're experiencing, what the temperatures are, but at the end of the day, you can try to overseed those bare spots right now. You can put down some more barren brook seed. I would highly recommend you cover it with easy straw, water it for the next couple of weeks, and see if you can't get that seed to germinate. However, depending on where you are, it may just be too cold. Now, the other thing you could do is just simply wait and see how those areas do in the springtime. The reason I say that is, again, you've put down the Barren Brew RTF seed. Guys, this spreads via rhizomes, and so those bare spots, depending on how large they are, may actually just start to fill in naturally. But the good news is you can actually follow the same process in the spring in terms of just putting down some new seed, covering it with easy straw, and then again, watering it for a couple of weeks. So whether you choose to do that now or you wanna wait, see how things turn out, and then do some spot seeding in the spring, that's perfectly fine. Again, I don't know where you live, I don't know what the weather is, what the soil temps are, but really those are your two options. Question number two is from Lou. Hello, Tim. If I use manure in my veg garden, do I still need garden trust? So frankly, this is a judgment call on your part. Obviously, you're putting manure down because manure does have some nutritional value to it. It's usually very high in nitrogen and it does help you know, plants grow. People will put it in their lawns. People certainly put it in their vegetable gardens. So it, again, this is nothing new. Now, whether or not you want to use garden trust in addition to the manure is 100% is up to you. But if it were me, I would put down garden trust. But I might wait a little bit. Look, I don't know how much you're putting down. I don't know the source that it's coming from. So I really can't even estimate what level of, of nutrition that that manure is putting into your vegetable garden. But it's probably a significant source. And my guess is it's gonna be gone in a couple of weeks. So when you do put it down, it's gonna be pretty impactful right up front. But like with a lot of fertilizers, it tends to dissipate rather quickly. That's what makes Garden Trust so valuable because Garden Trust is a slow release nitrogen fertilizer. And so, after a couple of weeks, I would actually put down Garden Trust. It puts down a lot of nitrogen. It slowly releases it over the course of the entire season, but it also contains a bunch of other nutritional elements that that manure probably doesn't contain. So if it were me, I would absolutely use them together. I just wouldn't necessarily put them down at the same time. 
put the manure down first, wait a couple of weeks, it's gonna get some rain, things like that, then I would put down Garden Trust. The third question is from Cherie. Tim, I followed your advice and overseeded my lawn in mid-September and it looks wonderful. Should I put gallery or dimension on my lawn now in November? Your calendar says gallery, but just wanted to be sure. So the ideal time for a product like Dimension would be at the very end of summer and into early, possibly mid fall. For gallery, you can start in that early fall and actually put it down all the way through really mid November. Again, depending on what type of weeds you're looking to help prevent. Unfortunately, when you overseed, you have to basically forget about applying dimension in the fall. And you can, again, look at this time frame now for putting down gallery. So that's really where you are. Forget about applying dimension. It's not going to do anything in terms of preventing grassy weeds like crabgrass. But gallery can still have an impact for a number of weeds. And so putting it down right now is still going to be okay. And that's why if you overseed, we recommend that you put it down in mid-November. So forget about dimension, get down gallery as soon as you can, make sure you water it in, and that should help any weeds that you need to deal with in the springtime that much more easy to control. The fourth and final question for today is from Bob. Hi, Tim. I have three large Japanese maples in my yard. When should I apply the plant trust, fall or early spring? So to be quite honest with you, either one would work. Typically for a deciduous tree like a Japanese maple, fall is a really, really good time to fertilize because what it does is actually, you know, the, the, the tree starts to take in the nutrition, but it's actually gonna store it in its roots because again, it's in the process of going dormant. It's shedding its leaves. And so it doesn't need that nutrition necessarily to produce, um, you know, more foliage. So what actually happens is it stores that nutrition in the root system and actually really, really strengthens that tree. Now, if you're gonna wait to the early spring, again, that's totally fine. And in fact, there's a, a pretty significant argument out there in terms of Japanese maples and waiting until the very end of winter, very early spring to do it. So again, I'm totally on board with doing it in the early spring, but you wanna make sure that you do it before it starts to green up. So once the, the weather starts to warm up, and you know maybe some buds are beginning to form that's when you would put down plant trust again that will help with that foliage that will help it you know produce the the buds and things that we we love to see and again the the nutrition profile for plant trust is absolutely perfect for japanese maple so i'm really glad that you're you're using that i'll be honest with you if it was me i would actually use plant trust in the fall again i've i've had a lot of success with it on deciduous trees, it really strengthens the root systems and those trees really, really spring to life in that early springtime as a result and they come back much, much healthier. Then what I would actually do is use a product like Kickstart and I would use that a couple of times in the spring and the summer to, to feed those Japanese maples. The important thing to remember is you either want that tree to be going into dormancy or just coming out of it. If you put a product like Plant Trust down uh, too late in the season, and what I mean by late is, let's say, you know, mid to late summer, it could actually cause some, you know, additional growth of the tree, and the tree may not have enough time to harden off that new growth before winter sets in. So my advice, if it were me, would be to put it down in the fall. I am totally okay if you want to do it in the very early spring, just as the ground starts to thaw, that's a really good time to do it as well. All right, folks, just a couple final thoughts here as we wrap up this final video podcast of the 2024 year. Folks, this Friday is the last day to take advantage of the fall feeding frenzy. So head over to rosensonline.com and Take advantage of this special price. It's gonna qualify for free shipping. And oh, by the way, it's time for your lawn's fourth feeding and there's no better product to feed it than Turf Trust. So again, you've still got a couple of more days to take advantage of the fall feeding frenzy so that you can get it down for the, your lawn's fourth and final feeding. So make sure you head over to rosensonline.com right now. 
Now, folks, last week I talked about the Plant Trust promotion that we have going on, again, over at rosensonline.com. You can save 20% when you use the coupon code PT. 20. That's going to get you 20% off of every bag of plant trust. What we are talking internally, and given the fact that it's now November and that there are significant portions of our viewing audience that can still put down plant trust all throughout the month of November, we've decided to actually extend that promotion for the entire month. So if you haven't taken advantage now, you can certainly head over right now, but through the entire month of November, if you use promo code PT20, when you order a bag or more of Plant Trust, you're gonna get 20% off. It's a great way to feed your deciduous trees, your deciduous shrubs, and again, as long as the ground is not frozen, you can safely put it down, and your trees and your shrubs or your bushes will really, really thank you. I also want to remind you, we touched on it a little bit earlier in the video podcast, but folks, also, right now is a great time to put down gallery, especially if you have overseeded in the early to mid fall. Enough time has passed, that grass should have been coming in, and as long as you've mowed it a couple of times, you can safely put down gallery. So head over to rosesonline.com and pick up a couple of bags of gallery. Again, this is a good time to get it down, and it'll help control a lot of those weeds that'll start to pop up in the early to mid spring of next year. Folks, it's been an amazing year for Rosens Online, and obviously the uh, commitment that we've had from you in terms of the viewership, the thousands of emails that you have sent in over the course of this year really, really means a lot to all of us. So thank you so much. Again, I want to remind you that we aren't going anywhere. So if you have questions going into November, into December, into January, make sure that you send them directly to me, Tim at rosensonline.com is my email address. Again, we are just taking a step back as we have the last couple of seasons from producing these videos so we can you know, take a look at our product selection, uh, evaluate the business, and then come up with some ideas on how we can make our video podcast even better when we kick things off next February. Folks, we really do appreciate all of the time that you've spent with us this year. It means a lot. We've had a record year over at Rosen's Online. So thank you for all of the time. Thank you for all of the orders. I hope that you folks have an amazing rest of the week and an amazing rest of the year. God bless. Mm -hmm.